What's better, hardware mining or software mining? Decentralized Ledger Technology, DLT, has the potential to streamline business processes and reduce the cost of trust. It provides the ability to verify data in seconds instead of days, and much quicker transactions instead of waiting for business weeks. The potential for blockchain is limitless, but it's not for everyone. Businesses that want to test the technology and see if it's a fit for their organization first need a secure environment to run tests. Hardware mining is a secure test environment that lets businesses quickly deploy, test, and scale blockchain networks. It is better suited for business that wants to test the technology and see if it's a fit for their organization first. Before proceeding, subscribe to our channel of Cryptella and our website, cryptella.com as well. How to start mining. When you connect your node to your rig, the rig starts mining. The node connects to your rig, processes all of the transactions, and processes the blocks. If you're also running a business on the blockchain, you can include a message in the transactions. Then, when the transaction is verified and a block is created, you can add the message to the block. You can include a message in the transaction by calling the transactions function that adds a comment to the transaction. The block is generated when the transaction is verified and a block is created by the node. You can include a message in the block by calling the function of the block that adds a comment to the block. Hardware mining. Hardware mining works by plugging your hardware into an Ethereum node. When you're mining, the node processes transactions and processes blocks in exchange for newly created Ether. This means you don't need an Ethereum wallet to participate. First, you need an Ethereum node. Many miners also include a GPU or ASIC rig that mines Ethereum. You can also use an automated solution, but if you want to try out the technology, it's best to use a real node. You can buy an Ethereum node online or find a volunteer who is willing to lend theirs. It's important that your node is trusted because it performs all of the work to verify transactions and mine blocks. Next, you need a mining rig. You can buy a Ryzen or Intel rig that can mine Ethereum, or you can buy a pre-built mining rig. It's important that your rig is trustworthy because it performs all of the work to verify transactions and mine blocks. Is your business ready for hardware mining? To be prepared for hardware mining, businesses should have a basic understanding of Ethereum. They should also have a grasp of distributed ledger technology, AI robot technology, and or robotics. Along with the technical ability to deploy hardware, businesses also need to think through the cost and risks of hardware mining. This includes where data will be stored and how data will be protected. Final words. Is hardware mining right for you? If you're interested in testing out the technology and want to use a more secure environment to run your tests, hardware mining is the way to go. It's more secure than software mining, and it doesn't require running a node on your local computer. If you're looking for a test environment that lets you see if the blockchain fits your business requirements, hardware mining is a great option. It's secure and ensures that you have a consistent and predictable return on investment. It's also easy to set up and has a low barrier to entry. The technology is still in development and isn't ready for full-scale business use. It's important to conduct a thorough audit of the blockchain to determine if it's the right fit for your company. If you choose to go ahead with blockchain, Hiring a blockchain expert can ensure that you are prepared for the technology's growth. Pros of hardware mining. Securely deploys blockchain networks in a controlled environment. Ideal for business experimentation. Minimal risk and cost. No need for an Ethereum wallet. No need to transfer or store large amounts of digital assets. Cons of hardware mining. Only a small population of miners can be deployed at the same time. Only one or two miners can be deployed at a time. Limited capacity, making larger deployments and redeployments challenging. Expense and time consuming to run tests. Software mining. Software mining is the process of running a mining software on a computer. This software is connected to a mining hardware via a mining interface, MIDI. Available mining software includes CG Miner and SG Miner. Pros of software mining. It's easy to get going and start mining. You can set up a software mining operation in a few hours. This helps you save time and focus on your business. You don't need any expensive hardware or expertise to get started. It's also cheap and easy to set up. Fees are usually low, so you can get started without breaking the bank. Cons of software mining. It's easy to get started, but the difficulty of mining increases over time. Because it's easy to get started, there's a risk that the price of the cryptocurrency will fall and you'll end up with less money in your account. 
There are also risks that the blockchain will have technical issues and your money will be lost. You'll have to pay transaction fees if you want to send money. Software to Blockchain Protocol Convergence If your business is on a path to transition to blockchain, software mining is a great option. This can help you get your feet wet. As software mining makes use of existing mining hardware, it's a quick and easy way to test blockchain technology in a controlled environment. The most important part of software mining is that it has to be open source and transparent. The software should be published on a public GitHub or other similar repository. Final words. Blockchain technology has the potential to streamline business processes and reduce the cost of trust. It provides the ability to verify data in seconds instead of days, as well as transactions within seconds instead of business weeks. Cryptella gives you all the crypto updates and latest news that you need every day. For any and all crypto lovers, stay tuned to Cryptella channel.